What's up Raiders, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about one thing, squeezing every last frame out of Arc Raiders on PC, whether you're on NVIDIA or AMD, low-end or high-end hardware. So if you're tired of random FPS drops, input lag, and losing fights you should have won, this guide is for you. Arc Raiders is actually one of the best optimized and real engine 5 games on PC right now, but you still need the right settings to get smooth, consistent performance. In this video, you'll learn the optimal Windows tweaks, NVIDIA and AMD control panel settings, and in-game graphics options that give you high FPS, low latency, and clear visibility in sweaty fights. AMD FSR 3 frame generation is a technology that creates additional intermediate frames between normally rendered frames. It boosts FPS significantly, but requires using FSR upscaling and works best with VSync enabled for proper frame pacing. The trade-off is slightly lower image quality in generated frames compared to fully rendered frames. Even though I have a needier graphics card, I'm going to be using the AMD FSR 3 because it provides more smoother gameplay and less lag, and turn on NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, which is a feature designed to reduce system latency. Enabling Reflex decreases input lag by minimizing the time between your actions. Intel XCSS improved gaming performance while maintaining high image quality, as you can see it has somewhat better quality than the AMD FSR. But if you have an Intel processor like me, I don't recommend using it because it puts more stress on your processor and can lead to lagging if you have multiple tasks running in the background. But where is my DLSS? The I powered up scaling technology that boosts gaming performance and image quality. I would say I am not that of a hardcore gamer. And I use my 5 years old GTX 1660 to run my game, which looks pretty good for a 5 year old hardware I would say. But you should use your DLSS if you have the option because it will provide better image quality and more FPs than any of the options. And here is what the other resolution scaling like no AA, Tau and TSR looks like, compared to each other. No, AA has no resolution upscaling and have all this weird lines and I don't recommend it. For me personally, I still choose the AMD FSR 3 because of the balance it provides for smooth gameplay and image quality. For the quality option, I like the quality more than the balance one because of the better image quality. But balance is good too if you get more into fights and want more actions. For ray tracing I have only the static option, it can be set to static or dynamic low, medium, high, epic. While dynamic offers more advanced lighting, it significantly impacts performance, making static global illumination the recommended setting for most players. Here is a comparison between the epic quality and the low quality in this game and I think there is not that much difference. But epic or high quality will have better view at long range compared to low or medium quality, which is a huge difference if you are a competitive player. If you want a good gaming performance without much lag while having a great image quality, you can use these in-game options that I'm going to show you. Put view distance high or epic for better view at long distance. Anti-aliasing at low, shadows at low because high or epic will have major impact on GPU as shown beside it. Post-processing effects improve realism and cinematic quality, but can reduce FPS as they require additional GPU passes. Higher settings add more detail at a performance cost. If you have a good GPU, you can use high or epic to improve image rendering, or low and medium depending on your system. Put texture in high or epic to get better view of the objects around you, and better view of nearby players. And you want to put effects in low or medium if you want a good game performance, because sometimes higher epic effects can cause lags, especially if you face many players around you or swarms of iBots that increases your effects in that area. Put reflections high for better reflection from any reflective surface, foliage high for more natural looking grass and trees and global illumination high for a good lighting conditions. This custom settings will provide you with a good overall image quality and good performance throughout the game.
Now I get these performance states in the settings. I recommend it and with about 70 to 80 GPU utilization and a 60 average FPS, which is pretty smooth for my system I would say. And again, your FP, this will depend on not only on your GPU, but also in your monitor. So mine is a pretty basic monitor for casual task, but still provides good enough FPs and performance for a smooth gameplay. And this is what I get in epic settings. Since I'm recording while playing this game, you can see the FPS drops a lot and the game feels a little jittery, but with no background task will improve the gameplay. It does more affect the gameplay in more crowded area and high eye bots area though. Ark Raiders is actually one of the best optimized and real Engine 5 games on PC right now, but you still need the right settings to get smooth, consistent performance. In this video, I hope you understand the in-game graphics options that give you high FPS, low latency, and clear visibility in sweaty fights. If this helps you out, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more Ark Raiders content. Before changing settings, you need to understand what your PC can realistically handle. Arc Raiders minimum recommended specs target CPUs like the Intel i5-6600K or Ryzen 5 1600, and GPUs like a GTX 1050Ti or RX 580, with 12GB RAM as a baseline. Recommended settings step that up to chips like an i5-9600K or Ryzen 5 3600 with GPUs in the RTX 2070 or RX 5700 XD range and 16GB RAM. If you're below or just around the minimum, the goal is simple. Prioritize FPS and responsiveness over visual eye candy. If you're closer to recommended or above, you can push higher resolutions and prettier settings while still staying at 100 plus FPS with a good configuration. Other options include fixing your operating system before touching in-game options. Set your Windows power plan to high performance or the equivalent ultimate performance option so your CPU and GPU don't downclock in the middle of a fight. Next, turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and game mode in Windows to reduce overhead and prioritize game performance. This helps smooth out frame times, especially when the CPU is close to being maxed out. Finally, close background apps like browsers, launches, and overlays. You don't need. Arc Raiders is quite smooth, but a heavy browser or recording software can still steal CPU time and cause stutters during intense extraction fights. If you're on NVIDIA, you can gain a lot of performance and lower latency just from the control panel. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance so your GPU doesn't throttle while you're in lobbies or queue bound areas. Enable low latency mode and pair it with NVIDIA Reflex inside the game. This combination can significantly cut intoned latency in Arc Raiders, making your shots feel more responsive. For competitive play, disable VisInc at the driver level and use an in-game frame cap or sync or freezing to avoid input delay and tearing. For AMD players, open Radian software and set your GPU tuning profile to a high performance preset or custom profile that keeps clock speed stable. Just like on NVIDIA, you want to avoid aggressive power saving that causes FPS swings. Enable AMD Antilag or Antilag Plus where supported to reduce input latency and use Radian image sharpening with a moderate strength to keep the image clear when you drop resolution or use FSR. Keep driver level VisInc off for competitive play and control frame pacing with in-game options or your monitor's adaptive sync. If this Arc Raiders optimization guide helped you, drop a like, subscribe for more performance and survival content, and comment your specs plus your average FPS so we can help each other dial in the perfect settings. See you in the next raid!